Welcome back to the Sea Champagne Radio Show. Welcome back. I love Music Army. We are so glad you are here with us today uh, for the story and uh, the TikTok video itself of John Cougar Mellencamp going, uh, uh, you know, I can't say crazy. Really, I can't do that uh, because I don't think he went crazy. I know others would tend to disagree with me, but he calls out a fan. And, uh, well, let's just play the clip and show you what happened at the concert, shall we? All right, here's the clip. All right, there you have it. There's uh, the John Cougar thing. This is what happened. You saw it. Um, I would love the I Love Music Army. And by the way, if you don't know what that is, that's all the people that have subscribed to this channel, which is one of the fastest growing music channels right here on YouTube. And be part of the I Love Music Army. I read every single comment. I would love to hear what you have to say about this. Um, But let me give you my thoughts on this. And then uh, I would love to uh, be able to interact and read what you have to say after I post this video. But, you know, I think about today and the disrespect that people have for artists. I know that if I went to a concert and any artist I would go to see, I don't care who it is. If someone I would not buy an expensive ticket to see Taylor Swift. But if I went to Taylor Swift, and I'm not a fan, mind you, of Taylor Swift. I'm, I mean, she's okay, but, I mean, it's not like she's my favorite or anything. She's not even close. Uh, her music and what I do is totally different. But if she spoke at that concert and I went to that tour, I would like to hear what she had to say. I would like to hear what any artist has to say about anything. If they're on stage, they're performing. They're telling you something. Uh, you know, Garth Brooks. If you're a country music fan, did a Vegas show with no band, just him and an acoustic guitar. He sang songs. He told stories. What about the Unplugged series with uh, Eric Clapton, uh, Rod Stewart, uh, Bruce Springsteen telling stories on, uh, you know, storytellers and Unplugged. And they talked to the audience. I mean, what if a heckler said something during one of those shows? What do you think would have happened? First, it would have never happened because of the respect and John Cougar deserves a lot of respect. He's been a very successful artist. He's, he, you know, the farm aid thing is, I mean, you know, and this is not the first time that John Cougar has had problems with fans. I mean, he did uh, a show, I think it was uh, last spring in May or April or something like that. Um, you know, somebody yelled out at him and, uh, and he said that, if, you know, if y'all don't shut up, he's just going to leave just like he did during this particular concert. This man does not have to go out and play any songs anywhere. And in case you didn't know this, in case you didn't know this about John Cougar, and this is where I really applaud John Cougar, it has been told uh, by several people, I don't know if he still does this, but it has been told that when he goes on tour, he actually uses local musicians, not famous guns, big stars, to come and play and go on tour with him. Local musicians to go out and play with him on whatever tour he's doing. 
And that's great. He's given people opportunities. And to see the disrespect from a fan, um, you know, saying, hey, shut up and play some music. Okay. Now, for those people that are going to take sides with the fan, uh, you know, I bought a ticket. It's very expensive. I want to hear the songs. I don't care what he has to say. Okay. Well, guess what? It's not your show. It's his show. And it's the show that he presents however he wants to present it. Because that's what he, as an artist, wanted to do. Tell a story to the audience. Try to connect with the audience. Just like I'm trying to connect with you people right now. I'm trying to connect with the I Love Music Army and say, I love music. Do you. Tell me what you think about John Cougar. Tell me what you think about the video I just played. Tell me what you think because I'm going to read these comments and I'm going to listen to your perspective because I love being educated by the viewers of this channel and what they have to say. And they say, Steve, you're wrong. Steve, you're right. You know, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. It's, um, it's really cool because, you know, I don't know everything. I'm not one of these guys that claims to know everything. I know a little something, something about the music business. I've been in it all my life. This is all I've ever done. I'm doing a YouTube channel now um, and a live radio show now because I'm frankly just tired of moving gear. Uh, <laughs> We're going to be doing some really cool stuff with this channel. We want you to be an intricate part of it, to be quite honest. So uh, let me know what you think about this John Cougar thing. And uh, we will see you on the uh, other side of the mulberry bush, if you will. Uh, that's it right now from C. Champagne Radio Show. We're going to pay some bills, take a break. We'll be back before you know it. So um, peace, love. Until then, adios, amigos.